We have Alan here from Reaver Guitars. And Alan, I was wondering, like, how did it come that you start building guitars? It's all very much by accident. Uh, in my previous job, I, I got quite ill and I, I could no longer do it. And when I was finally diagnosed and I started to feel uh, better, I, 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 I just didn't have much to do. Right. So I decided, rather stupidly, I would build a guitar. And it's been downhill from there on in. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Were you, are you a player yourself? I, I used to be a, a bass player. I, I, I was at a reasonable level at one point, but those right. days are long gone now. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Well then, uh, show us what you, what you brought with you. Well, this, this guitar was built specifically for the Holy Grail Guitar Show, and uh, they have a, a local wood challenge where every wood in the guitar uh, is built from woods you can source locally. Wow, uh, yeah. So. The, the top on this guitar is Spotted Beach, which I actually got from a friend's garden. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. The body Sycamore, again sourced locally. The Walnut came from uh, a forest in Devon, from a friend of my wife's. And the fingerboard is Laburnum. So every, every wood there sourced in the UK. What kind of pickups are you using in this? Uh, the pickups are my own proprietary pickups. I get them wound to my specification by uh, Aaron Armstrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it lives down in, in Kent in the UK. So again, what I can source from the UK, I Local, source from yeah, the yeah. UK, yes. The, the hip shot uh, hardware obviously is not from the UK. <laughs> uh, and it's a standard volume tone, three-way yeah, yeah. three okay. toggle. Yeah. There is an option uh, with the guitars to add a, a, an active circuit. Right. Uh, built by John East, mm -hmm. uh, which gives a, a much wider range of tones available right. available to the yeah. guitar, but not n not everybody wants that, so it's an right. option rather yeah, yeah, than yeah. a standard feature. A standard feature, okay. I really do like the, uh, I, how do you call that in English? A spoke, a spoke wheel truss rod. Yeah, yeah. which is accessible like right there and you don't need to take it, off the it's, it's, it's a feature I, I, I have in all my bases as well and I just think it's, it, it's much easier. There's it no specific sense. tool to be used yeah. and you can, most people can always find a screwdriver that's going to do the job if they exactly. absolutely have to. I'm always interested in this kind of headstock, like is it, is it a certain, uh, is it on all your guitars you do it like this? No, no, absolutely it, not. No, it's no, just an it, option it, as well? It, or? It, no, it, it, it tends to be for specifically guitars that are designed to be headless okay. because obviously you have to accommodate this right, at, exactly, at yeah. the back end of the guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular guitar w would be doable with a headstock because it, it still lends itself yeah, to yeah. that, whereas my other, the compact model, it, it, it would look silly with a headstock. So mm -hmm. it's very much a design choice quite early in the process. All right. Very nice. And how would you describe the sound of the guitar? I see now you're, you're, you're going into it. I'm a bass guy. So oh, all that, right, all right. Uh, this particular one, is, it's got an Alnico 5 in the, the bridge and an Alnico 3 in the neck. The 3 is really nice, sweet sounding guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, an Alnico 5, much like your standard rock type uh, 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 setup. So it covers a lot of ground for, for with just a three-way switch. But if you want anything more detailed than that, I suggest you play it. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Ellen, thanks for being here. Pleasure, thank you very much.